So today I'm going to show you how to basically lay out a bolt circle. Um, there's a bunch of different ways you can do this. You can do the trig longhand and figure it out that way, or you can get a chart like this. This is actually a really old chart um, that I have copied. Um, I'm not sure where you can get that. I have another one I'll show you a website too. So this one gives you bolt hole patterns for 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And with this you can basically, whatever the uh, diameter of a circle is that you need a bolt hole pattern set up on, it'll tell you how to come by that. So we're going to do a 6 for this demonstration and it's going to be on a 3 quarter inch circle. So basically this is pretty simple. All you need to do is you need to know your center point and if you have a, you know, if you have a circle and you're laying these out further you're going to have to find the center of that with a wiggler or or whatever you might have. So for this, you know that if we have a three quarter inch circle, half of that 0.75 inch is 0.375, which is 3 eighths. So the first one's easy. Come straight down, drill it at 0.375. Same thing for the top. So now when you've drilled this hole, in order to get to this hole, you know that you need to move in direction, well, you need to move the amount of A. And to find A, what you do is you take this number, which is 0 0.43301, you multiply it times your diameter, which is 0 0.750, and then that tells you how far to move over this direction. And then once you've moved over this direction, now, see, you can see B there, that's how far you need to move up to get on the center of that next circle. So B is 0 0.250, times are 0 0.750 and that'll give you the amount you need to move up. So now you just drill that hole and then once that hole is done you can see from this C you go 0 0.5000 times 0 0.750 and that'll tell you how much to move up here. So then you just keep doing that all the way around. That is nice if you have a, a circle pattern that's not a specific like an even number or fraction or whatever you have because then you can come up with the answers really easy. If you want an easy, easier chart, this one has set up for a 4, 6, 8, and a 12 hole, which are some of the common uh, bolt patterns. So now all you do with this one is you have your diameter here and then it has diameters all the way down to 12 inches and they that's a pretty easy way to go. They're laid out in 16 inch increments. This you can get at this website. You can just type in that link there and it'll take you to it and you can print it out. So if you need this chart just go right there. So now I'll show you how this one works. This is a lot easier. We're gonna lay out a six hole pattern and we're gonna do it like this. Your hole at the top is at the zero degree position. This one, which we'll show you on the digital readout later, is offset. Since these with six holes, they're 60 degrees apart. Each hole is 60 degrees. So if that's our center part right in the middle there, say that's our center, you're going to move 30 degrees over. And I'll show you that on the digital readout. So if you need this pattern, your starting angle is going to be 30 degrees. So Basically, all you have here is you have two measurements you need to know. If you, again, if it's a three-quarter inch circle, 0 0.750, we're going to move three-eighths down, which is 0.375 for our first hole. Now, if we want to get our second hole, if we're on center there, what you're going to do is you need to move over this direction the value of B. So we'll do that first, and what we do is, here's B. We're going to come down to three quarters of an inch. So we know that we need to move 0.3248 over to the right. Where are we? To get in this direction, which is going to put you right here. Now we need to go down the value of C to get on center with that hole. So now we simply go to C and we come down to three quarters and we know that we need to move 0.1875 of an inch. So now 
once we are here with our B, we come down 0.1875, and now that's right on that hole. So you can drill that hole. Now you do the same thing, but in reverse to get this hole. This one, like I said, we know is easy because it's right in the center, up 0.375 of an inch. And then you're going to do the same thing all the way around. So that's a really handy chart to have. Makes things simple because everything's light, laid out for you. You don't have to do any math. Uh, makes it easy. But you are limited to 4, 6, 8, and 12 hole patterns. Um, but it's a good chart. The easiest way to do it is with a digital readout. If you guys have a digital readout on your mill and you haven't used the, uh, the bolt circle um, function, you should really try to learn how to use it. It's very simple to use and it'll make it pretty much so you don't have to do any math. All you have to do is know the diameter of your circle, how many holes you want, and then the starting um, degrees. And it tells you everything. It gives you the coordinate and basically all you have to do is zero it out for each one. Zero out your um, digital readout and it'll put you right on. So we'll go ahead and move over to the milling machine, show you the digital readout and get started. All right, here's our digital readout for the mill. I'm gonna start that up, it has to boot up. So once that's done, we'll get rolling. All right, it always starts in metric. So we'll just go ahead and hit the Imperial button for inch there. And right now we have it all zeroed out because we have the uh, bit zeroed on our part. I'm just gonna use a center drill for this demonstration. Now, if we wanna do we want to lay out a bolt circle pattern, there's this little button right here. You can see it's a circle with holes around it. That's what we want. It's going to ask us for our center. We're already zeroed where we want to be. You could change these values if you wanted. Say you had multiple uh, bolt circles that you needed to drill. Say you had one here and you wanted one over here, you could then enter the coordinates in for that second one. Since we're just doing one, we'll leave it zeroed there. Go down. The diameter of the circle that we're going to put the bolt holes on is 0.75, three quarters of an inch. So that's good. Number of holes, we're going to do six. The starting angle is zero. Now where that comes into play is if you up here. So if you do zero, you're going to end up with a bolt hole pattern like this. You're going to have one directly at the top at your zero degree um, setting. If you want it to be like this, you would want to do 30 because these are 60 degrees apart. Your center is here, so it would be 30 degrees to this hole. So if you're doing something round, it doesn't matter. You can do either. If you're working on, uh, say, a flange or something, um, it might might matter one way or another. But for this, we're just going to go with zero so we get a bolt hole pattern like that. And the ending angle, 360 degrees, so we're going all the way around. And hole one, it tells us we need to move X um, to zero this out. So we need to move 0.375 or 3 eighths of an inch um, in order to get to our zero position. So we'll go ahead and do that. And once we're zeroed out, that is going to be where that hole needs to be drilled. So that's exactly where that hole would need to be drilled. So we'll go ahead and drill that hole. If I can get my hand out of here. There we go. Okay, so we're going to drill that first hole. up or we could countersink them with that center drill. So now for hole number two, we're simply going to come up here 
and I didn't lock it down because it's for this demonstration I want to spend the time but um, we're two ten thousandths off no big deal so to go to hole two we're gonna hit the down button hole two and now we just have to zero out these coordinates here for your X so we'll get zeroed out and then for our Y And now we'll go ahead and drill hole two. And if you notice, I have a, just a spin indexer there. I have a little job to do, so I didn't feel like pulling it off for this demonstration. So that's kind of in the way there, but not a big deal either. So we'll go ahead and drill hole two. Two is drilled. So now we're just going to keep progressing along. We'll do one more on here. Go to hole three. And now you can see we just need to move the X. And then we'll drill hole three and we'll continue and I'll come back on hole six. Now we're on hole six. So we'll go ahead and drill that real quick. So I'll go ahead and pull that off and give you a look at it. So that's the final product. Our six holes laid out on a three quarter inch diameter bolt hole pattern. Um, pretty simple to do. If you have a digital readout, I would definitely suggest learning how to use it. Uh, much easier than doing all the trig by hand. If you have a chart like I showed you in the first part of the video, that definitely makes it easier. Uh, but this is, like I said, the simple way to do it with the digital readout. and it's a nice accurate way to do it um, without putting a lot of thought into it. All you have to do is know your diameter, your starting point, and how many holes, and basically you just go from there. So if you guys have any questions about this video or have any comments, please uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Or if you have any things that you would like me to make videos of, I'd be more than happy to do it. So just put them down there and I will get to them. But until the next time, you guys take care.